All right, namaste Pisces. Welcome back to my channel. This is Chrissy High Priestess. Let's find out what's going on for the next 48 for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So the channel message Pisces for you is when closed doors all right, Pisces, the channel message is this. When one door closes, another door opens. Often we look so long at the closed door that we do not see the one which has been closed for us. Okay, so Pisces, that is your channel message for today. So don't dwell on past mishaps, relationships, things that didn't go as planned. And worrying about things that did not work out because it's working out for the higher good okay so let's see what's going on for the next 40 for my pipe thank you again for those who are subscribed to my channel also my monthly pay subscribers i will see you live on sunday and if you will please leave me a kind donation and thank you for those who have donated <clears throat> you also take this into the extended live i mean extended uh partner want to tell you as well as um Hidden Seeker. So we do have um, stalking energy here. Six of Cups, the Star Healing, Eight of Swords, and a Page of Wands. Alright, so a lot of young energy stalking as well. Okay. Pisces, somewhere in the name as well. Two of Cups. <laughs> a soulmate. And the Five of Cups. So someone is definitely missing a soulmate, a missed opportunity with the soulmate. Mourning a loss of a soulmate or the soulmate is missing you. Very heavy Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, Pisces. So this is our energy. You either have a soulmate connection currently coming to a zoo or you lost this soulmate. But we're going to see. And the reason why I said loss is because we have the five of cups, which is crying over spilled milk. The grass wasn't greener. Missing someone from your past nostalgia. Okay. Pisces. Ooh. We have the Eight of Swords as well as the Queen of Pentacles. Someone is stuck in their head. Alright. So someone is having major regrets about something that they said. Re reviewing what was said. Maybe some bad words were said. We got this in the live. This Queen of Pentacles. Uh, another female Taurus Capricorn Virgo energy who uh, you're not getting along with. Someone could be wishing you ill will on your relationships. You have the Ace of Pentacles that kind of came out in and out. So you might have money coming in, coming out, or unstable relationship. One minute you guys are together, one minute you're not. Alright. Pisces. What is the wrong messages? I want this Ace of Pentacles to come back out. So let's see. For Pisces. Have the devil, oh no, not the devil, the queen of cups towards the king of wands. Aries, the Osage, another Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So you could be arguing with either another Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or an Aries, the Osage. Okay, or Aries, the Osage is upset with you. You have two queens here reversed, as well as the strength. What is the future messages for Pisces before we clarify? This is basically cut and dry messages just flying out right now. We do have the new moon on the 12th. So I did see some type of energy on the 12th. Pisces. Well, an apology. High Priestess. Um, all the cards are in the uprights as you see here. Okay. Knight of Cups. A younger energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, someone is either wanting to work on things, thinking about you, or someone went quiet and cold here with the High Priestess of Pisces, you went cold. It was definitely a love connection with someone you was um, intuitively connected to, and um, you guys were struggling to um, compromise or to get things working or moving in the direction you was hoping for. So you do have an apology with the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, the High Priestess. And definitely a soulmate energy for Pisces. So Pisces, you're definitely manifested this love. It's going to come in in your favor, especially with the, with the, yeah, look at this. You have the Will Karma and the Page of Wands twice. So we're going to keep this Sagittarius energy. Um, passion in your favor, someone just can't measure up to you. They just cannot find. All right, let's see. What is the, um, 
the future advice and outcome. Let me ring the bell for my lovely Pisces. What is the future um, advice and outcome? Eight of Wands messages. Eight and Nine of Wands. Defensive on guard. Messages coming in. Someone will contact you. All right, let's see what's on the bottom. Four swords after some time apart. Let's see, what is the future advice here? The sun and the nine of cups. Someone wants to be wish fulfilled and happiness is coming to fruition here. You don't see it coming, but it's coming. You will get a surprise message. Let's see, for Pisces, we do have the magician here. Two more for the future advice here for my lovely Pisces spirits. Have the magician again manifesting. Oh, now worry and fear is here. Nine of swords. Now, when I was shuffling, it kept coming up. So, the nine of swords, regretful, or just thinking about some words that were said to each other. All right, some heavy words or regretful mistakes that had occurred that you are looking to reciprocate or someone is looking for some type of resolution to this this uh energy that causes breakup someone is praying and someone's just crying at night i'm seeing let me see pisces all right we got a lot you have the temperance running out of patience six of wands trying to be victorious okay Aries, the Osage, Ten of Wands, and the Moon. Something is secretive, Pisces Cancer energy. Alright, holding on to a secret that burdened the two of you or one of you. Alright, a secret was revealed that was not okay in its connection. Alright, you have also the Three of Cups and the Four of Cups. So, third party energy, not accepting someone's bad behavior. Or someone is not accepting your bad behavior. Having options as well. Okay. So let's clarify and see what's going on. With the Pisces. Actually I will use these blue cards. Why is the two of cups here for Pisces? That's the first card. Is the two of cups which is speaking about soulmate. That, um, that's coming towards you or a soulmate that got away. Why is the two of cups here? Whoa. Okay, three of cups and the five of wands. So definitely a third party and some fighting chaos here with someone. Someone perhaps was tired of the fighting. Um, even though this was a soulmate connection, someone could have spoken to your partner and caused your partner to read think this connection with you and this partner got into their head and maybe walked away or this could be you someone got into your head about this partner saying bad things that wasn't true and caused you guys to break up so the chariot not moving forward yeah break up hair font reversed Taurus energy so most likely a Taurus as well is the eight of swords okay Someone is thinking about a divorce, a breakup, a separation that occurred with someone they loved. It was too heavy for you to even carry Pisces too much. You couldn't control this ending. Why is the Queen of Pentacles? It was something you just couldn't control. You have the Justice, yeah, and the Five of Cups mourning a loss of a past love again. So you have the Five of Cups, the Justice here, legal, um separation or a legal battle here with the Taurus Capricorn Virgo or a Libra or in Pisces Cancer Scorpio. Why is the Queen of Cups here reversed? This is a very a moon secrets Pisces Cancer again. So maybe someone feel like Pisces you had a lot of secrets or this partner you were dealing with who's a Pisces Cancer Scorpio has secrets as well. But someone pulled back their love and their emotions. They wasn't being truthful. Um, a secret was revealed or will be revealed. Why is the King of Wands here? The Three of Wands. 
and then the page of swords stalking so aries the old sag passionate beginning this could also be still the pisces cancer scorpio taurus capricorn virgo libra sagittarius someone is definitely um not happy with this breakup or someone was waiting for a, a passion to come towards them but um it was an ending the passion ended why is the uh, page of cups here someone needs to apologize someone thinks you owe them an apology maybe if it's not you yeah eight of swords twice here and reversed so if this was your past energy feeling regretful miserable and and in pain this person is going to apologize or you're going to apologize to yourself through prayer and forgive yourself for uh, whatever mistake that occurred here because the, you need to move forward. You're going to listen to your intuition regarding this connection. You're going to realize that you can't force things. So if the, the connection ended, you just have to meditate, hone into that energy and accept it. Maybe spirit was protecting you somehow. Page of Wands, passion, being pulled away and uh, uh, stopping an end. Well, you were dealing with the immature Aries, Leo, Sag, or another Pisces, but definitely uh, Pisces. Um, you're not expecting this person to actually come back to apologize. You have two pages, young energy here, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sag. Um, because you, you understand, like, uh, well, some of us do understand that if the breakup occurred, it was for a reason. <clears throat> Spirit was protecting you. Why well, is the Three of Pentacles? Wanting to work on things. Someone might want to work on things. A title. Maybe you were too pushy asking for a title. Okay. Now you, or maybe you don't even want the title anymore after you realize this person was not the one. Why is the Will of Karma here? Why is the Will of Karma here? Queen of Pentacles again reverse and the Will of Fortune is reverse a cycle that needed to end. There was a continuing cycle. I love you, I hate you again type of energy. Uh, Sagittarius, um, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Okay. Page of Wands, why is this here? Ten of Wands. And then you have the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. So an Aries, Leo, Sag might come towards you to try to reconcile this connection, especially Sagittarius, very heavy here. We didn't cl clarify the Eight of Wands, why is this here? King of Swords and then a Chariot reversed. King of Swords and the Chariot reversed with the Eight of Wands. So a crazy but Gemini might come towards you to reconcile. They might message you but take their time to come back. You have three major arcanas, Chariot, Temperance, and the Star. Running out of patience in Sagittarius, Cancer, as well as in Aquarius. Been left out in the cold and backstabbing betrayed. You also have the King of Wands again. Running out of patience, not wanting to apologize. Aquarius, Cancer, and the Sagittarius. Here's the High Priestess. Listening to your intuition. Listening to your intuition regarding this connection. Nine of Swords. If it doesn't look right, feel right, something is not right. Ace of Swords and the Seven of Wands reverse on guard. Protecting your energy because this person might just bring you misery. Misery loves company. That's what I'm getting. Misery loves company. In the world. High Priestess in the world. Queen of Swords and Aquarius Super Gemini here. Someone could be blocking you from communicating with someone you really love. There's a blockage here. 
All right, Page of Cups is reversed, also the Nine of Wands, the Devil. So, it's definitely obsession or someone could be blocking, spiritually trying to block this connection for from growing. Okay, Hidden Secrets with an Aquarius, a Gemini, a Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus is in this reading as well. And the high priest is so distant, not going towards this connection. Alright, so let's see what the future is. We do have the future cards, which is the Ten of Wands, the Knight of Cups, the Moon, the Six of uh, Wands, and the Sun. And the Temperance here. Um, let me see what these cards. Eight of Cups. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Pisces. Okay. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Reversed. Someone from the past. You can't trust them. So if someone come back from the past, blast from the past and airs the old size, just think twice about it. Okay, to offer you something shiny. It looks good on the outside, but maybe it's not good on the inside. Stalking, also traveling is here. It looks good on the outside, but the inside is not healthy. Why is the Nine of Cups here? Which fulfillment over drinking, over thinking, over smoking, over sexing, over texting. Why is the Nine of Cups here? Yeah. So now we got the seven of five, five and Seven of Swords. So definitely something you can't trust about someone... Who is either married or committed here. The Hierophant. Or divorce, separation. Someone is saying they're getting divorced. Divorce, and maybe they're not. Crazy the Gemini, Aries, the old Sag here. Taurus. That's the wish fulfillment. Over drinking, over smoking, over indulging. Extracurricular activities. Why is the moon here? Reverse hidden secrets for the Pisces. Seven of Cups and the Six of uh, Pentacles. Having options, charitable giving. You might have a lot of options, um, but you're looking for equal balance in these with these options, and maybe you can't find it. Have Pisces Cancer heavy here, or something that is secretive about a lot of options. Maybe you have so many options, Pisces, or you're confused about a Pisces Cancer. Why is the Six of Wands here? The Magician. And worry again. Manifesting something. Virgo Gemini energy. Someone play aways is coming to an end. Okay, the sun here as well. So let's see. Healing child. Why is the sun here? This is definitely happiness. Wish fulfillment in the nine of cups. The sun is confirming the sun. I'm just really good with it. <laughs> so happiness is going to come, Pisces. You just don't see it. You just feel like you're working hard and all these connections, but you're not finding the right puzzle or the right piece is not matching. But e eventually it will. All right. So you have also the death card, Scorpio. The devil's reverse, obsession, ten of swords, and temperance. Healing something that was um, toxic or someone is trying to heal something with you. Something you can't see, a death or ending to some toxicity here or drugs, alcohol, obsession here. Um, you're trying to have patience with someone who stabbed you in the back or vice versa. Why is the temperance here for Pisces, the last one? And then we'll see what your partner want to tell you. Alright, so King of Cups and the Two of Swords, something you can't see, an illusion. Something that's blocking you from, from seeing reality. All right, you're so maybe you're you're so obsessed with the passion that you can't see what is meant to be for you. You can't see your happiness here with the sun here twice. Let me see last card for Pisces. What is our advice? T holding on tight, obsession here, control, wanting to hold on to this soulmate, not letting go, control, not letting the universe pick it for you. You want to hold on to it. You don't care, even if it hurts you. Not letting go of control, holding on too tight. Or this could be the partner obsessing over you, 
vice versa or the or you're obsessing over them but this might not be the um soulmate that spirit called you to have maybe it's a lust connection not real love what is the advice for the pisces here this was um this was lust not love let's see tower and the death card definitely a scorpio here um Wanting to see things end, wanting to uh, see a tower moment with you, want to destroy you, destruction. Someone might be intentionally trying to cause havoc, rate, you know, try to cause pain into your life. Someone could be intentionally trying to, um, trying to hurt you. A shock, a shocking, a big ending that you wasn't um, expecting might occur or has occurred. And um, maybe this is why you are having insomnia. You're in disbelief at this lost or uh, the way things ended. Hmm. Okay, Pisces. And Spirit wants to tell you that it was a third party and something you can't see or someone will or did ghost you. Um, because Spirit needed you to wake up. You had more obstacles to go through. This was not the time to fall in love. This person was not meeting your frequency your vibration now if it was a secret third party um yeah look at the soulmate and the sun reversed as well so this person is in the dark all right they thought they can find better or they might think they can and spirit wants you to allow them to find let them seek but they will not find with the soulmate reverse so this could be you um you need to just wait on spirit to call you in to find another. Especially with the towel and the death card. I see the king of cups is happy though. Not, re not really taking a leap. Which is smart. Alright Pisces. So this looks absolutely beautiful. But you do have hidden secrets with the high priestess. And the third party here. And this high and this uh, death card. Big ending in the towel moment. So something had to end. And uh someone had to move away it's just wasn't it wasn't what it's supposed to have done been it wasn't as rosy on the surface it wasn't as good like i said on the outside it looks good but the inside was not healthy and and good namaste pisces my pisces thank you for those who donated earlier today when i was live i really appreciate it pisces um, so I am accepting um, personals as well as donations. If you guys would like to donate, I would really appreciate that. And if you guys are paid monthly, we will be live on Sunday. So hit that notification bell so you are notified when I am live. Okay, so that's all Spirit giving us. <laughs> When closed doors open, when some closed doors are closed, keep it closed. It's for a reason, Pisces. All right, so let me see for my lovely Pisces, what do we have? We have some individual people. Hidden Secrets is Knight of Cups as well as the Taurus Capricorn Virgo. What is the hidden secret for my Pisces? And again, this is a Malachite. Okay? Don't tell me what this is. All right. You have the Ten of Pentacles, money and abundance coming in here. Love it. Now, let me be real careful and turn these around. Okay, so you have the Knight of Cups and the Ten of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Someone loves you and wants to offer you an apology, Pisces. All right, we're going to put these back. This is the pre-shuffle. You do have the Queen of Cups and the Seven of Swords. Something you don't trust. And also someone is stalking you or you're stalking them with the Two of Swords and the Page of Swords. All right, and you also have a um, Taurus Capricorn Virgo female here, which we receive all day today. <laughs> female Taurus. Someone could be talking behind your back. Someone you share information with. So let's see, what is the hidden secrets for uh, Pisces spirit? 
Knight of Swords and Aquarius Super Gemini or someone rushing in to contact you or you're rushing towards them. Someone is not trying to let you go this time. You also have the Tower and the Ten of Swords. Someone feels betrayed here. Pisces. Healing. The Star. Yeah, healing a broken heart with the Three of Swords here at the bottom of the deck here. Alright, see that pain and agony coming out of her soul, darling. Someone wants to win you over. This is a hidden secret and an apology. Uh, someone know, someone sees you as a healer. They know that you are the divine. Alright, i got to change the battery. It's dying. Okay. I appreciate it. Okay, Pisces. Let's see. What is the divine messages for my Pisces spirit? This message. Whoa. <laughs> Emptied. The ending and beginning lie at either side of the same door. This is exactly what I said in my quote. Let me get my quote again. I said here. Okay. I'm only going to read one depending on how I feel. Now the quote I have on my phone, which I read in the beginning... I said, when one door closes, another door opens. Often we look so long at the closed door that we do not see the one which has been opened for us. And this one has similar information, 24. It says, the ending and beginning lie at either side of the same door. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to read it. Now, we do have two cards that came out as well. It says emotional energy, and I do like all the energy because in the dream I had uh, this morning, I was walking through a flame similar like so in front of her, and it was just lit up. It was a little bit of gold, white, and a blue hue. And then we have Eternal Gatekeeper, okay? Absolutely beautiful. These cards are marvelous, honey. It says, acknowledge, assert, and protect what is right for you. Emotional energy says, e emotions are messages to be met with appropriate attention, actions, and gratitude. Okay, dance in the wind, baby. All right, so let's read this. Namaste, Pisces. Okay, Pisces. This is the card we pulled. It says emptied. The ending and beginning lie at either side of the same door. Emptiness can feel like the end of no through road. We do not see the feeling of despair for the crystalless that it is. Upon emerging from a dark night of the soul is a gateway inviting us into a new way of being in the world. It is not uncommon for life to confront us with situations that seem to extinguish are light for some time. However, it is rare for individuals to disclose the degree of despair experienced during this period. Exhaustion and depleted resources from the end of career choice, relationship, or phase can leave us believing that our efforts, aspirations, and opportunities to make something of ourselves were in vain. That our best was not enough to make our lives work in the way that we have hoped. This sounds so familiar to what I said this morning in the live. Unwanted events can cause such inner upheaval that our will to continue trying to weaken significantly um, can cause us such inner upheaval that our will to continue trying weakens significantly. The power of any period of hopelessness or withdrawal to bring us to the edges is not to be underestimated. No one goes through life untouched, regardless of what hand we are dealt or the path we, uh, or the path that we walk. Life is capable of emptying everything of us, of everything that we have to give, and all that we believe that we are. When this happens, to whatever degree, we are left feeling defeated, fragile, and blind as to what we do to do next. Any degree of emptiness you experience is a blessing, like a womb. It has the power to birth new life. While our circumstances may seem to be in ruins and empty, trust the process of renewal. And fulfillment is happening within all that we cannot see. Just as the seeds of spring are present and growing in unseen ways throughout winter, the emptiness is a door that eventually opens into a new perspective. 
On the door to every ending is a handle that opens into a new beginning. Trust that all that came before and reached its conclusion had necessary place and value, regardless of whether we recognize it. We cannot anticipate, understand, or appreciate how or why things fit together and unfold the way that they do. Our spirit self operates from a foreign perspective and logic that typically evades us. To surrender to the upward twists, turns, and losses that temporarily empty us along our life path is often the only way to the genuine fulfillment of what it seems like life is forcing us to let go of. The mother assures you that you are everything you need to grow forward. Trust the universe. Trust that the universe is always meeting you halfway with the lessons required to advance you at your higher level. Your highest level. Your darkest moments are also your brightest blessings. If you allow them to be radiant beginnings. That they are here to open up in you. It is time to thoroughly let go of something you are still clinging to at your own disturbance. Empty yourself of it in all ways. One, on some level, something has come to an irreversible end, and you need, and you need to accept it as such. Release the residue to allow the necessary clearing a space for a new beginning to begin. Guardian message says this: Pisces, surrender to your spiritual self. Surrender to your spirit self. Allow yourself to be emptied of all that is over, false and untrue. Let the light that you are filled with fuel expand beyond and radiate, and radiate the emptiness so that it may be seen for the gateway that it is. Oof, I'm more ready to read the rest of those readings, honey. God bless everyone. Namaste.